I know that you out there have some questions for Ms. Alfred, so we'll be opening up the lines very shortly. In fact, we want to open the lines up right now as we ask a few more questions. Now, in terms of the number of pledges that you have had uh, going through the telethon, what is the average like? You know, how many people have called in or have made pledges? Um, generally, it's been pretty good in terms of persons, individuals making pledges. I, I want to go further because I have been asked that question already in terms of what percentage of the persons who pledge actually bring the money. Right, that, that's a different, uh, yeah, that's a different <laughs> question, you know, it's, it's um, difficult to collect. That, that, I must say that we have at least 90% of the individuals who pledge bring in the resources. Oh, okay, that's so, great. So that's excellent for us. Um, I think there's a, th this, General, generally in the community in St. Lucia, the people want to do their part. No matter how small it is, they want to do their part. And, and Telethon affords that opportunity for everybody to do their part. Mm -hmm. Now you talked about the artists uh, who, who will be participating and, and, and contributing, making their mm -hmm. contribution in that way. Uh, tell us a little about those acts that you have for the Telethon. Okay. Um, Thank you for, for giving me that opportunity. We have to say thank you to the performers um, who, whenever we call them, they contribute their, their time and their talent to this event. Um, well, as we said, we have various segments. So we have Special Blend. We have the School of Music. We have Shirley Ann Cyril's Higher Definition, um, Tabitha, A.G., Wilburn, Angel, we have a segment of performance poetry. We have the Fourth World Band. Um, we also have Elra Ome, Jean Lawrence, Shane Ross, Blaise Pascal, um, Sky, Helen Folk Dancers, Young Mecca, The Matrix Band, T.C. Brown Invader, Emron Henry, and a Soka Explosion being led by Ricky T, Superman HD, Scaddy, Scaddy P, Monster. Wow. That's a, so, that's a long that's a long list of uh, performers for that day. Yes. What time do you start, and, and how long do you expect the, the, t the whole telethon to be? Okay, well, we open the gates at 12.30 for the food fair because mm -hmm. we are advising persons when you leave church, you come straight to telethon. <laughs> you don't have to go home don't to eat. Don't go home eat. to eat. No, you don't go <laughs> home to eat. You come to the telethon, you have lunch, and then we will go on air from 1.30. So performances should start at 1.30. Um, because we want to have an early wrap-up in terms of the event. Usually by 8, 30, 9 o'clock, we are done. Mm, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's, that's interesting. Now, I know food brings people out like nothing else. I yes. Mean, well, for, for St. Lucia, it's music and food. And when you have a combination of these two, exactly. then it's you expect a lot of people to show up. It's, yeah. it's quite a good mix. And last year, the, the response to the food was quite good. I, I, I would expect <laughs> that. <laughs> And we have this year SLHGA who is again partnering with us on the food fair. We have uh, other countries as well, but SLHGA who is partnering with us this year, they are also doing the bar. So we have some cocktails that are also going to be on the menu in addition to, mm -hmm. to, to food. So patrons, I think, have quite a bit to look forward to. Um, and I must say, importantly, too, that, that it's going to be very affordable. Mm -hmm because we want persons to come eat have fun but also pledge <laughs> right, right so it is going to be very affordable um entry to the to, to gate is only ten dollars um for adults and kids under under five i think it is enter free um and the meals are very affordable okay well, we're inviting you to call um, and uh, make your contribution to this discussion on the NCF Telethon, which is happening this Sunday from 12.30 at the Gate on Rodney Bay. We have with us the Executive Director of the NCF, uh, Ms. Juliana Alfred, discussing that with us. Now, yeah, um, you, you're talking about, you know, the different things, the entertainment, you're talking about the food, but you'll have children there. Mm -hmm. And, and the, the attention span is a bit shorter. Mm -hmm. um, what do you have for the children? Uh, the kids' entertainment segment. We also have a, a special area that we've created for the kids where we have face painting and, and lucky dip and things.
things that will keep them energized while, while their parents are in having some fun. I, I think somebody wants to ask you a question. Good evening. Please go ahead with your contribution. Yes, good night, Mr. Reynolds. Good evening, sir. And good night to your, to your guest, Ms. Alfred. Hi, good evening. Yeah, I want to um, first um, speak about the, the, the NCF. I must inform um, St. Lucians that the, the work that the, the NCF does on a, on a daily basis it is, it is remarkable. The NCF is involved in humanitarian services, meeting people's needs from all walks of life. You know, even I myself, on a daily basis, I would send people to the NCF who need all sorts of help, be it um, those people who have been fire victims, those people who need assistance in, you know, in, in medical. Some people need all sorts of assistance, and I, I must say that um, this is the time where solutions has to come out in large numbers and support the work of the NCF. Everybody should make a contribution. Do not tell yourself because you're not sick now, you may not see the need of assisting people because it just take one calamity to just put you on the bread line. So do not believe because you are okay now that you do not need to assist. I know Ms. Alfred, I've worked with her at the crisis 